welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and I love makeup. Today I am going to do just a random get ready with me. I needed to just talk a little today and I wanted to get some makeup on to make myself feel good. So if you want to hear some stuff and see how I did my makeup, please make sure to stay tuned. I don't really have a plan for the day. Um, I just want to put on some makeup. I've been kind of in a little funk lately and for me taking a moment for a little bit of self-care and just focusing on myself makes me feel better and of course chatting with you guys makes me feel extra extra better. So here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Leah, do you ever do anything different with your hair? No, nope, not really. I love pinning my bangs back. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm going to start with the old Lumi Lotion today. This is like the only primer, this one in the spotlight from Physicians Formula have been like the only primers that have been working for me lately. Everything else that I've tried, I've tried like high end, drugstore, all of that stuff. It's all like making the foundation lift off of my face. So I know that there's silicones in it, which is fine because I like a blurred pore. But I think it's starting to um, just not work well with my skin. So I think I'm just going to stick with these like luminizing lotions, lotions, um, primers because I look how it looks under foundation and um, it actually stays under foundation and works well with my skin. Um, and my skin's been feeling pretty good lately so I don't really feel like I need a ton of blurring and um, so that's that. Okay, and I'm not trying to be anything super fancy today, so I'm just going to try this BB cream from CoverGirl. I think I saw somebody use this and really like it. Was it Taylor in one of her 15 days of foundation? I can't remember, um, but I just don't feel like putting foundation on today. Do we put BB cream on with a brush? Um, this is in the shade Fair to Light, and it might be a little bit too fair, but they've got, you know, Fair to Light, and then Medium, and then deep so maybe I shouldn't put this on with a brush I mean I did just wash my hands yeah there's no point in even trying to put it on a brush I'm gonna use my fingers actually no a lot of people use like a BB cream um, because it's like nice even cup this is no coverage um, I'm going to use this as my second primer of the day. I mean, I didn't want a ton of coverage, but I wanted something. Like, my cheekies are still really red. So this will be my complexion corrector. Okay, yeah, that did not do anything. So I'm going to use the Joa Truly Yours foundation drops. They're pretty light. Um, they've got good coverage, but they feel nice and light on my skin, which is nice. So... That's so, do I have to shake this? Mm, that looks so nice. And I just like that it's so light. Why does it feel? <sighs> well, I don't even have anything real, like, important to talk about. I just kind of wanted to sit down and film a bit. Um, it's been kind of a weird week in my household. Um, we're just, there's a lot of things up in the air for our family. Like we don't know. That's just like kind of like, hello. There we go. Just, you know, a lot of things. It's like, what does the future hold? Um, Stuff like that. It's like, there's, <laughs> I think it's Han Hannibal Burris or Michael Che. Um, I've been listening to a lot of stand up on my Alexa. She was listening. Um, <laughs> so I hear like a lot of the same bits over and over, but there's one with Michael, I'm pretty sure it's Michael Che. When he says he used to live in New York and then when he moved to LA, he knew he was ready to move to LA because New York didn't want him there anymore. And that's because like all this like crazy stuff kept happening to him. <laughs> and I think that's kind of how we're feeling about Fargo. It's not like interpersonal things. It's like money things. We moved here because things were supposed to be so much easier for us. Um, 
than it was in San Diego, but it hasn't gotten easier. I'm a social media marketing specialist, so like I do social media for job for companies, like that's my job. Um, but that's not a job that exists here. It's weird. Like I always say, like I love the Midwest because there's like so many great things about it, but there's so many things like. Um, I always say like the Midwest is about five years behind the coast. So coming from California where there's a ton of jobs and I was like actively recruited for my position from other companies um, to here where my job just doesn't like straight up doesn't exist. Um, so it's been hard is what I'm going to say. I've been doing freelance work and working from home, which is fine. And I actually really love being at home because it allows me to like do this, which I absolutely love. Um, but also I need to make money. <laughs> and then the same for Mike, he's a graphic designer and You would think that would be easy but it's like the job field here is so strange it's like you have to know and I know that's like marketing or networking is 75% of finding a job but it's also like when you don't know anybody it's hard to network um, and it's been difficult and we just got some news this week that makes things a little bit more difficult so I don't know I just I don't know like I always say that I when I want to make a change I need like a huge neon sign that's flashing and saying go this way and I felt like coming here we had that sign but now um, I don't know if staying here is gonna be the thing so we'll see just what happens in the next few months and what decisions we make um, as a family and another thing is, I will say that this has been a really difficult winter for me. My seasonal depression has been kind of bad. <laughs> like this last week, and I've noticed it because just this last week, the sunshine has been out and shining. And I have been so like exponentially happier. Like just feeling so good. Like I've been getting so much more stuff done and just like feeling really motivated and I know it's because like the sunshine is out and I'm really affected by that and I realize now that I lived in California for so many years and I was so happy there it was because I didn't have super gray winters to contend with and um, I've gotten my anxiety under control but like the seasonal depression this year was rough man. So that's kind of that and we've like in the past before we actually moved to Fargo we thought about moving to Arizona for a lot of great reasons um Mike's best friend one of his best friends lives there um but now my parents have a house there so they're there half of the year and um I don't know maybe that's an option that'll come back into our into our existence all right here is what I'm using today I'll use the ColourPop um every day when I wear all the time concealer so yeah, that's kind of what's going on in my world. It's just been, it's just been a weird week. And I just usually, and the thing is, it's kind of like weird to me this time, is usually when things happen that are just kind of like, you know, make you really think about what's going on in your world. I'm usually so super good about being like, okay, that sucks. We can figure it out though. Like here's plan X, Y, and Z. Which one should we do? Where should we go? And this time it was like a little bit concerning to me because because I do usually have that sort of reaction where I'm like, oh, well, we can fix it. Everything is fixable. Nothing is permanent. Um, you know, what should we do? I, I just, I didn't have that reaction this time. So it was just, it's just weird for me that I'm processing it differently than I would typically process it and um, just not have a plan or next steps. And maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just trying to like subconsciously trust the system of the brush that's bristling all over everything. Oh, I hate that. I don't know. What do you guys think? When like you get like weird news, what do you do to like try to pull yourself out of the tailspin, I guess, of like, oh my God, what's going to happen next? What do I do? because I don't know and I don't know. <laughs> All right, 
so now I'm gonna use this color here. <sighs> and I hate to like come on here and like seem kind of like a Debbie Downer or whatever, but it's just like what's going on in my world. And sometimes I just need to vent and you guys are super great listeners because you have no choice. <laughs> well, you do, but I hope your choice is to stay here and help me. <laughs> Please help me. Um, I always said YouTube was like my therapy. So it's like, I know things will be okay. Everything will always be okay. There are so many worse things that happen to so many people and are happening to so many people right now that, you know, the world is not ending and my world is not ending, but my world is very scary right now. <laughs> oh, this color is really pretty. It's like a really cool toned pink. I really like it. So I'm going to do that one next. And it's not scary. It's just uncertain. And I mean, like, I know if we need it, our families would be there to help, but who wants to ask your mom and dad for help? Ooh, whoa. I thought that was going to be a lot lighter. Ooh, dear. Okay, well, we'll be blending that forever. That was a very misleading shade. I, I mean, this is what it looks like. Okay, oh, that's fine, that's fine. Everything is fine, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Ooh, it's double. <laughs> but other than that, everything really is fine. Um, my kid is so funny. He's been watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and there's this thing where they look through their telescope out at the moon and they have to get somewhere before the moon is full. So now he just thinks the moon is called the moon is full. So he has this like telescope, AKA uh, uh, not newspaper, but wrapping paper tube. So he'll hold it up and look out the window and be like, there's the moon is full. It's really cute. All right, now I'm gonna just use this on my lid because I think these are super fun. In other news, Mike and I found a new show that is bringing us so much joy and it's so funny. Um, my brother actually recommended it and I know that if he recommends something, it's going to be something that I like because we have a very similar, like, goofy sense of humor. This is so pretty. Um, and like a lot of the same, you know, shows and movies. So did I say it's called Letterkenny? It's called Letterkenny. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's on Hulu right now and it's got six seasons. But they're short seasons, they've only got six episodes per season. Um, but it's a Canadian show um, that was on the, ch or that's on the Crave channel, which is, you know, a Canadian channel. Um, but it's just super funny. It's about this super small town in Canada and this farmer and his friends, which sounds like a children's novel, but it's actually super funny and, um, they swear a lot, which I enjoy, and I don't know, it's just really funny, and I highly recommend it. So if you haven't seen it yet, check out Letterkenny, and if you haven't seen it yet, and you watch it, and you like it, come back and tell me, because um, we can be best friends. guy and do a little bit of few final finishing touches here. I really like this liquid shadow but you need to let it dry all the way otherwise it'll crease so that's what's going on here and um but it does stay it stays on for a long time so I like that one. So now I need your recommendations. We are a show binging family so we've finished Letterkenny twice and we just finished the Goldbergs which took a while but oh my gosh that show was is super funny like we love Jeff Garland and I love Wendy McClendon Covey I think she is the funniest so we liked the Goldbergs but we're all caught up on that um so what are you guys watching I watched Russian Doll which I absolutely love and I think I already talked about my obsession with Russian Doll so sorry if I'm talking about it again um so I need some good recos from you guys. We've got, you know, all the streamings. We've got Hulu, um, Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon. So 
whatever you got, come at me. If it's a true crime documentary, you know I'm all in on it and probably have already seen it, but I'll still take a recommendation. Um, yeah, so hit me with your favorites. Okay, I'm gonna go pop on some liner and some mascara and I'll be back. And here I am with liner and mascara on. For liner, I use these two, the Essence Super Fine, I think it's just called Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. Um, it's really awesome because it's uh, super fine. So if you have hooded eyes, you can get really, really close to your eye line. Eye line. How about your lash line? And um, it doesn't take up a whole lot of lid space. You can still see your lid and have a liquid liner look if that's what you like, which I do. And then for my waterline, I use the Rimmel Scandalized 24 Hour. This is like the blackest waterline pencil I've ever used. So that's what I've got going on. And then of course the old Essence Lash Princess, which is awesome for five bucks. Right, I'm just gonna contour with the old trusty Wet n Wild. So sorry the beginning of this was kind of a bummer. I just, it's been on my mind and I needed to talk it out. And honestly, that always makes me feel better is just to like bleh and talk everything out. Um, but while I was putting my liner and my mascara on, I actually talked to my brother a little bit. He's thinking about blogging because he wants to get back into video game design which is so awesome because I think he's so good at it and he loves video games um, but you know just like adulting he kind of fell off of like or fell out of it um, so he wants to get back into it and I'm so super excited and I hope he I hope he can okay and I'm gonna use the old trusty clearance color icon mellow wine blush from wet n wild i'm guessing it was on clearance because it's discontinued the formula is still great even if this shade doesn't exist anymore um but another thing i was talking about with my brother is podcasts um because he's telling me about a new podcast that he I put way too much on that he likes it has just like ended and i was like well why don't you just start your own then um so I think we all like, I don't know if it's like a, like our whole family, if it's just me and my brother, but we always have like ideas for like huge things we want to do, like, you know, start a podcast about video games or do a beauty channel that talks about true crime on Tuesdays or, you know, things like that. <laughs> so I don't know where like we got this like weird, almost like entrepreneurial, just do it. It's a huge project, but we can do it kind of spirit, but um, I think it's a family thing. <laughs> and I'm going to highlight with the ColourPop soup. ColourPop Super Shock Cheek <sighs> Pearlized in Flexitarian. This is one of my favorites for sure. It just looks so pretty all the time. I mean, it's so good. It's just good. I do feel a little bit better now. Thank you all for listening and being here. Well, I pour. while I wore my heart out. Got a little crazy with that uh, that highlighter there. But things will get better, right? Also, if you wanna pop some stories and words of encouragement in the comments, I'll take those too, always. So I'm gonna try this L'Oreal Paris. I think I tried it before and I remember liking it because it was super, super thin and it stayed on really well, but I don't remember what the color looks like on. But I think it'll go well with this. We'll see. But it's called I Rule, which I like. <laughs> I think that'll work. And I'm just going to top it with the um, Mally uh, Blossom lip gloss. This is the one that came in my Allure Beauty Box last month. I did get the March Allure Beauty Box and I kind of don't like it. So I'm not going to do a video on it unless you guys want to see it. If you do, well, let me know and I'll film something. But it was just like, I, I don't know. It was just weird. Like I felt like the first one had so much really good stuff in it. That this one was literally all sand. It 
it was literally all samples so it was just kind of a bummer because it was supposed to have like full size and sample sizes and this one was all samples i think we will call that good i think it looks pretty nice and i don't want to keep fussing with things because i know i would try and then i would look crazy um so thank you guys so much for listening i really appreciate every single one of you that tunes in and lets me talk to you every single every other day whenever i can um you mean more than you know. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll love you forever. All right, have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.